Anyway, Jeff. And again, if you do have the game you want to join us, uh, just make sure you're friends. we're friends on Steam, and uh, I'll send you an invite. You can hop in with us and help uh, keep the zombies at bay. Okay, now as far as mods go... Ah, uh, what's that? It's... So that's... Actually, that, I don't think that's technically the mod there. This is a... Uh, picked up a mod where... Uh, basically, it's a easy swap or something like that. And what it's supposed to... Because normally the way the game works is if you have... Holding something in your hands like this and you have something on your back... If you pull out the item on your back, it puts whatever you're holding in your hands into your inventory right here. And then you have to, in order to re-equip it, you have to go in there, right click on it, go equip to both hands or put it on your back, that kind of stuff. Kind of awkward. However, this mod, what it, all it does is if you've got something that will hold in your hand, something in your back, just hit one because that's where the, the spike bat, bat is. It just switches them automatically. Let's see, switch it back. See how much easier that is? And the same thing goes for belt stuff, too. Uh, actually, no, belt stuff doesn't work because that's not how it works. So, so it doesn't work the belt, well, the belts because uh, the gun won't fit on the belt, but it would fit on the back. So, as long as you keep doing this stuff gun on the back, baseball on the back, or vice versa, it switches back on the because the old version was is basically what, what happened when we switched out the, the hammer and the screwdriver. Is it puts the gun into your inventory. Yeah, because there's no room on the belt for them. Or for it. So we got that. It's a nice little thing. Um, my gun, where are you? There you are. I don't need to carry around a gun. Okay, what else? Um, got a little bit of uh, inventory. Enhancement, sort of, kind of. Basically, what it does is it says kind of what it is, like a little bit more information. So, in this case, clothing, normal, accessible, normal, blah, blah, blah. Tool, melee weapon, crafting stuff, draw, or sorry, crafting, carpentry, food, or it's a beverage, not just food, food. Clothing accessory, that kind of clothing accessory, that kind of stuff. So that helps a little bit. Just to, it's more of a quality of life thing for easier identification. And look, the big one is with the books. Is uh, one of the mods basically breaks the the title. It shows the whole title of the game of the book, and it also breaks them out into their volume. So basically, you read, want to read this one first, and then whatever number two is, and three or four, that kind of stuff. These are all based on your skill levels. It still has the regular title in there, and again, a little bit uh, extended uh, information there in the category. And then another mod shows whether you've either read the book before, or you need to read it. That's what all the little icons there mean. So in this case, this one, I think if it's a red, you can't read it yet. Because you don't have the right oh, the skill. Red circles are ones you can't read yet, I think. Yeah, you can't read because you don't have the skill for it. So, in this case, Gimpy has no, no electrical skill yet. So that's why the intermediate and expert books are showing red. And you already read the first one. So it has a little green mark above it. I think that's what that means. And then the this one means he's partially read it. think? No? I'm sure to remember that I've seen this one before. Oh, he's already read it, but he can't get anything out of it. I think that's what it is. No, no. I can't remember that I've made a note of it. Cooking 3 Advanced. Oh, sorry, his skills isn't high enough to read this one. That's what it is. So... Now I'm confused. So, cooking five to six. His cooking is currently four. We're working towards four. 
So I'm not sure. I forget what the different symbols mean. Because I know the electricity one, that's just, he doesn't have any skill in it at all. But anyway, it's to help identify stuff that, uh, again, that you've read already. In this case, he did, has read Electricity Volume 1. That's why he's got these little arrows going there. So that's why that's green. Cooking ones are the same deal. He's already read those. And carpentry, he doesn't need to read them. Because he's too high level. Because he started off at like a level three or four. So, and then we just boosted past these other levels before we read these books, I think. So, hey, PS, welcome back. Maybe I'm illiterate? Uh, maybe. Anyway, that's uh, one of the other mods we've loaded in. Uh, another one is allows us to move basically furniture um, without needing necessary skills to do it or tools. All you have to do is just do the normal move thing and. Um, it doesn't matter what skills or tools you have. You should just be able to pick it up and move it around as you need to. So that'll help a little bit. And Hello, everyone. It's mostly it My name so is far. Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at GimpyNee. He tweets out there when he the goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Screen, that's kind of nice. Thank you for watching. Yep, they're watching Happy Friday. Yeah, the quality thing, it's... For mine, it shows like it's green or it's yellow or... No, my, yeah, mine aren't showing up with colors on them. So I don't know if that's... Oh, my crowbar is shown as green. My hammer is shown as kind of a yellow. And then there's... The box is either full, like a quarter full or half full, depending on oh, I see I it guess, the quality of it. I see it now. I, th I had to actually equip stuff, and then now that actually the boxes are filling up, they're kind of like a little yellowish thing. So it's showing basically the condition. So the our spike, spike baseball bat's about half percent, along with the hammer. And they're all about the same, looks like. Now, could we repair it with nails? I don't think that did anything to it. Oh, potential repairs is 5%. Chance of success is 3%. Or 93%. Looks like it fixed it a little bit. Yep. That's repairing it. See, now the bar is green. Yeah, it's giving me feeling. It's just kind of hard to see on the this particular background, maybe. Yeah, it, it doesn't show up very well, but it is definitely. I can see it, it's just not easy. Or it is to get high school English students to read anything. What I'm thinking is I need a good old zombie apocalypse. What, to force them to read? Or just to thin them out? <gasps> that did not work. That was Perfect. a failure. Something crack. Yeah, that was me working on my bat. You break your bat? No, it didn't break it. It just didn't repair it. <laughs> okay, so the bat's good. Can't really repair the hammer and the screwdriver, but that's okay. Okay, food package. Do I have any food on me? I don't think I do. Don't. I got a plank. Okay, so. Do I need to build anything wood wise? Are we good for cabinets? It looks like we are. Oh, we're supposed to be working on the farm and stuff, wasn't I? Yeah, we're going to have to start another pot. Oh, I don't have a watch. I'm sure there's a watch on one of the zombies outside. Should, Should be right be. outside the door. There's a big pile of bodies. At the front door or the back door? Front door. Okay. I pile them all together. I think I've got another pile in the back as well, so I'm sure you can find a pile somewhere. Daylight, or is it daylight? Or God, 
out. <laughs> when you said there was a big pile, you weren't kidding. Yeah, it took me a while. There's the watch. Okay, all set. Hey, it's only five o'clock in the morning, so. Okay, so we do need to get a uh, farm going. It's gonna take a little while. Mm -hmm. So this is where our farm's gonna be. Have our collect some of our water collection. Got to block this whole area off. Oh, look, there's a zombie. He saw me. Ah, right onto the pile. Didn't ask for better. Shit. Why is it dark? It's five o'clock in the morning. Why is it dark? Oh, well, it's morning or dark at five in the morning. She showed my uh, back quality going down. Heck, depending on what part of the world you're in, it could still be dark at nine or ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, depend. Well, it's. I'm not getting date on this this uh, watch. It's a crappy watch. Is uh, tells me what day it is. That's not good. play with corpses too much you can get sick so you gotta be careful yep, that's why I always wear a mask yeah I don't have a mask oh yeah and there's a mod to make the masks more effective okay so it's not good fence there in space so this Eat some rain. Some farmer gimpy. Apparently, digging on the ground is uh, get you warmed up. Is your watch showing the day and temperature? Yes. Huh. You must have crappy watches. Then. Yeah, there's different types of watches. You can get like a digital watch where you have all that. You can have an alarm or you can get like a very basic watch as well. So depending on the type of watch you have, well, depends on what sort of information you're going to get.
need a uh, weather protection so we know it's going to rain. Supposedly, if you get the right type of radio and you put it on the emergency radio station, um, it'll tell you the weather for the next day. Really? Okay. But you have to find a radio that has that station. Not all of them do. And then supposedly it gives you the updated weather on the hour or something. Oh, that's weird. I'm watching cooking shows. I got the cooking booster thing for Winnie the Buck. And my cooking level is not going up anymore. Hmm. Makes me wonder if, like, for an older character, if you watch the tape ready, you don't get that boost anymore or something. I would... Hmm. Yeah, I would think not, but I, I can't think of another reason why I'm not getting any cooking from watching the cooking shows. Oh, sometimes you actually have to remove the grass. Is that what's going on here? No. Go. Oh, found something to origin. Cockroach. Ew. Got some foraging XP though. Uh, looks like it's getting foggy out here. Stone? What are stones good for? <coughs> Foggy inside the building. Yeah, that's a good sign. <laughs> Find the bottle that's laying right there. Uh, let's see. Where do we put our uh, farming supply stuff? Sunflower seeds. Can you, can you grow sunflowers? Oh, it says it's only food. Never mind. Okay, eventually I got some levels of cooking from watching the TV show. So it still works. Okay, I came in here looking for seeds. We store those if anywhere. Be downstairs still. Since we got brought them up here. Canned food. So I don't think we need any seeds up here. We got a, I think we brought seeds back. I swear I picked up a lot of seeds last time we were there. Could still be the other place. And I haven't, I I'm pretty sure I picked them up. And we got a lot of books. Trash bag. Ah, there's some seats. Ah, uh, there's no fishing shows. No fishing shows. Does that work? Hmm. 
Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So reading the magazines teaches you different recipes and stuff. Okay. Yes. I thought it just increases your skill. And once you got a certain skill level, you get the recipes regardless. But nope. I guess that's not the case. No, that's usually there's a specific recipe. The books teach you, get you the boost, but uh, magazines give you a specific recipe typically. Oh shit, forgot the uh, safe house stuff. You spawn in the safe house. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah. Hmm. So I'm wondering where our seeds went. I thought I saw some somewhere in here. I found some downstairs, but upstairs, unless they're hiding somewhere. Ground. Classic rich watch. Uh, There we go. Digital. Classic wristwatches suck. Because those are probably the wind-up ones. But uh, if you want the date and temperature and stuff, you need digitals. Oh, there's a the gloves. Oh, this boat for brush. Pull it proof vest as well. I found the tomato seeds. <coughs> Where'd you find those? I'll grab them and throw them in at you. A few. Thank you. I think digital wristwatches were more of an 80s thing than a 90s thing. Um... I had one in the 80s, but I stopped wearing a watch in the 90s, so. We got radishes, strawberry seeds, tomato seeds. <coughs> Excuse me. So crap, chipped stone. Good is that for?
thing. I don't think I need a uh, leather jacket and a bulletproof vest, right? Uh, that would help. Yeah. Kid in the 80s and then I went to analog. Really? Yes, inventory management is definitely more complicated. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the books organized. Try to plant some plants out here. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the ninth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2022 in San Diego is April 23rd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you. And again, uh, we're up to just under $1,200 raised. I mean, you'll be walking at least one mile so far. And if you'd like to help out with donation to make me walk even farther, just uh, head on over to stompingoutms.org. You need to do that by scrolling down underneath the video screen and clicking on the Walk MS button in the About section, or just type in exclamation point Walk MS in chat, and the bot will use a link for you. Anything, you, any amount you choose to donate is very much appreciated. And if you have any questions about multiple sclerosis or how the MS Society works, feel free to ask. Oh, I have to water these things too, don't I? with water. <laughs> so farming, so much fun. Need more water. Oh, I have to be working on uh, getting water into the stone or the water collection outside somehow. Need more wood. So much to do. Like that was almost not safe. See, so it's what, August 16th. I don't know what the weather in Kentucky is like in August. I'm guessing it doesn't rain a whole lot. We haven't had rain in a couple of days, I think.
So those guys are good. Oh, what else can we plant? Strawberry? Do I go with strawberries? Oh, got radishes. That take forever. Yeah, radishes would be better than strawberries. Yeah. Problem is, is they take forever to grow. I'll do our friend back over here so I don't have to carry him. <laughs> Taking forever. Like he's. Oh, apparently the navigating through the tomato post might have slowed him down a little. Credit card. That's important. Okay, need more water. Oh, also, we have a mod to uh, get semi trucks too. It's just a matter of finding them, I guess. I don't know how it's going to work. Plugging that particular mod into an existing game, but we'll see, I guess. Can't burn these pile of corpses, can we? I don't know. I've never tried. You zombie truckers uh, just start uh, driving semis onto the map? Maybe. So we got a bunch of books that are double. Where's our uh, burn pile? We don't have. Well, you know, I need to make a a chest for, or sorry, a bucket or a bucket, a crate for putting those things into. As soon as I get done getting this uh, farming stuff done, I'm gonna do that. Got to grab food. Oh well, almost done. Aren't your legs getting stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it, you ignorant meatbag.
Okay, so tomatoes and radishes are planted. So, again, be a while before you see radishes, but the tomatoes seem to be okay. I think they grow relatively fine. It'd be nice to have some potatoes, though. I could have swore I brought potato seeds. Lots of weapons. Ah, oh, tomato seeds here on the ground. All these up. Seeds got put. Oh, we got some potatoes in here, which is fine. Oh, maybe they're all back at the base still? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Again, I'm not finding them anywhere here, so. I think they're still back at the other place. Because it was a, kind of an odd spot where we had them. It was like under one of the sinks or something. Yeah. I thought I picked them up, but maybe I guess maybe I didn't. Buckets of water. Yeah, taters, unfortunately, uh, I think our seeds are back at the other base. Okay, so, any cool meals are ready to go in here, or do I have to make something? Oh, we've got burritos. Bowl of soup. <laughs> Bowl of soup. skill books that's in a garbage bag on the floor they're all doubles okay except we're missing a couple of books in the bookshelf is it the ones that we know we're missing or that i don't know yet i'll have to do another spreadsheet <laughs> another one. uh Mrs. Gimpy and the dogs are back. Oh, I can remember. Earlier when we were talking, did I use Mrs. Gimpy's real name or did I call her Mrs. Gimpy? I couldn't uh, remember. I think he used Mrs. Gimpy, otherwise I probably would have noticed. Okay. Because I, I was wondering, I was like, did I still use her real name? I mean, not that it was that big of a deal, but. I'll be honest, I have no idea what her name is. 
No, it's fine. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, I couldn't remember. Because after I, I walked away, I went, did I just use her real name? Because <laughs> I'd been calling her by her real name all morning, and sometimes I have trouble switching to Mrs. Gimpy. So, uh, okay. So it's currently what? Almost six o'clock in game. I'll make a run over to the house uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Not a bad idea. Okay. In the meantime, I will go across the street, get some wood and stuff, build a crate for... I guess I could just clean out the window, but... Uh, is this door? Damn it. I'm sure I still have to build this little porch so we can set up some water collection. Get ready to clean most of this area out. So this building that's across the street from us is what, a hotel, I think? Or a motel? Something like that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Basically, we've just been scavenging all the furniture out of it. Oh, look, all kinds of stuff on the ground. Assembling stuff as we can. And the parts. to produce any useful materials. What the? Carry at 50 pounds total, so each plank is like four pounds. Ah, the zombie that's making all that noise, he's down. Hello here everyone. Somewhere. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. 
That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Nee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching and happy Friday. Okay, let's see if I can build a crate right there. Okay, put a crate right next to a uh, stove. So now it's just a matter of transferring all the books and stuff to the crate. Yes, Mickey. <laughs> oh, you heard him, huh? Wonder how long these uh, books will take to burn when we need to burn them. I'm trying to figure out how I got hurt. Oh, do you have your self for doing exercise? No. If you do exercise, you can set it. So it does it once away, and when he does the exercise, then he'll be slightly hurt for a while. I haven't done any exercise. No, oh. I don't know. Maybe I got hurt doing the uh, breaking st stuff up. I don't know. So let's see. We're missing a couple of cooking books. Uh, expert master cooking. Uh, master electricity. Master fishing. Master metalwork. And advanced expert master of tailoring. Shouldn't we have all that stuff, over, or most of that stuff, back in my old other other base? Though, yeah, because right? I think I remember I, I grabbed most of the the lower level books, yeah. and I left some of the higher level books at the other place. Uh, my health may be taking a bit of a hit because I'm carrying around so many planks, too. I'm a tire, maybe. Dun, 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 dun. Truck needs a little bit of a cleaning. Yeah. Mm, let's see, I want to build some floors. Oh, it's raining finally. Can actually walk on the roof. Well, that's nice. Okay, so stairs, more planks. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I had a, a walkway built around the edge of the outside of the building, and I walked 
what I thought was going to be the roof, and I felt the ceiling into the inside of the building. It's yeah, I had that good. happen once. That's not good. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. to do that again. So as far as, oh, sorry, as far as water goes, I don't know if we're going to be able to plumb anything to that, because that's pretty far away from the wall. This sink is, should mm, that we don't have a window here? You can make a window. You got a sledgehammer. You can well, make anything you want. That is true. Actually, that's not a bad idea, is it? Not, can, you, can you actually knock out a wall? I haven't tried. Supposedly, Sledgehammer can knock a hole into anything you want. Okay, well, let's find out. Just don't miss. can punch a hole into Jeff. I'm sure it could, but we don't want to do that. Hmm. I don't think I can hit the wall without moving the cabinets and stuff. I found tomato seeds and stuff. Was it or did I put that? Oh, I put that. Oh, wait a minute. It's on me. I, I might have put that there. No, I've got stuff on me. Where did I get all this stuff from? Where did I pick that stuff up? I think I found some extra tomato seeds later on. Yeah. Because I found some more rad radish, just rad regular radish seeds. I just saw the strawberry. I got some. I'll put that stuff somewhere else. Oh, I just took it out of the place. I was just grabbing all the stuff. Out. That's why. That's why I stashed, stashed it all. Probably keep the cockroach in the refrigerator for freshness, right? 
Yes. <laughs> Cockroaches gotta stay fresh. They do. Okay. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the ninth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2022 in San Diego is April 23rd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation, please visit stompingoutms.org. Okay, all the Thank medical you. stuff is pretty much all in the bathroom now. Okay. Okay, sledgehammer. Uh-oh, Miss Gimpy is talking to me. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so Gimpy is working on maybe destroying this wall. Why are we destroying this wall? Because we want to build a window so we can see where we're building on the outside. Because I need to build a water collection out there. Hopefully it's not a load-bearing wall. Eh, not up. Nah, should be fine. <laughs> load-bearing wall. Not in this game. Well, actually, I don't know. I haven't done a whole lot of construction in this game. It'd be oh, kind actually, of funny if the entire roof caved in. Hmm. Can we be? Carpentry. I was going to walk outside, but I don't trust whether that's a real floor out here or not. Oh, look. look. Oh, that's works out really well, really. So, all we need to do is... Oh, damn it! And not walk in a straight line or the line I expected it to. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Go through the ceiling again. Oh, don't kill yourself. I'm trying not to. This is dark in here. Well, flying zombies that could get through the window. I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about flying gimpies, gimpies through the floor. soup. Okay. Let's try this again. So, as we're trying to do, so what we want to do is need to build a water collection thing up above here, so we can plumb it to the sink, and every time it fills up with water, we'll have you know water. So, stairs. 
Build stairs up through here, and then build it that way. I think that'll work. Okay. <laughs> Is it that the rain washed the truck off? No, it does not. You think it would, but it doesn't. Okay, Gimpy needs to uh, take a little bit of a break. Oh, first aid. Yeah, my guy was getting bored. Our first aid. Hey, I'm just gonna rest. Taking a break. Wait, situation's good. Chief Hospital Corpsman Ivan Philip Keaton of uh, something something something. Not some good man fighting the forces of. St oh, see, this is how you know it's in the early nineties. I think I got the book just a little bit organized. The, the first one, all the way on the left, has cooking, carpentry, electricity, farming, first aid, and fishing. And the second one has forging, mechanics, metalworking, tailoring, and trapping. Cool. And the third one has all the, um, the recipe books, if you will. And um, books to read if you get bored. Oh, we're making missing first aid too. Well, wow, that's gonna be yeah. Uh We're missing. Oh, you mean the VHS tapes or? No, the book. The book. No, we have all the first aid books. Uh, it's not in the. What? I just. It's in. Uh, uh... It should be in the first one, all the way on the left. See first aid one, three, four, and five. Oh, intermediate. I'm reading intermediate at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why it's missing. I put it back. That guy's always hungry. Jeez. Probably working too hard. Or you're not eating enough quality food. learn how to read faster. When does the power plant die? We don't know. That's the fun part, is we don't know. 
But we have a generator, so it's not a big deal. We have generator and we have fuel, so we're good for power for a while. But uh, the power could go out actually pretty much any day, along with the water, too. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. So I need to get that uh, that sink set up with water collection because we don't know how long uh, the water and electricity are going to last. So where are we putting all our weapons? Uh, I think they're in that metal rack near where the gun case is. Uh, you can't put a lot in there, though. Oh, you can't? No, it's, it can only hold seven. Oh. What, the standing one right here? Yeah, I see six of seven. Oh, the the gun case doesn't carry much, but the... Oh, here, 50. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I yeah. got it wrong. Yeah, that's where a lot of the stuff is. Okay, got it. Okay, so... Um, it's four o'clock in the morning. Trying to make some food, so get ready for the trip, right? Oh, right, right. Hmm. What happens to the chocolate in the bourbon when it leaves it in the, in the stove? That can't be good. Oh, it's in the stove? I thought I put it under the sink. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, I screwed that up. It's okay. There's nothing flammable on the stove, like towels and bowls. Supposedly, if you screw it up, you can burn down your house. Yes, you can. I haven't managed to do it yet, but I understand you can. are yummy. That's what I hear. Do we have worms? I just put some on the refrigerator. Ah, good, good. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Could be worse. Mm -hmm. Got some potatoes to put in there. Got some uh, broccoli, too. A little bit of food. Thirty minutes is good enough. up in a little while. Got to get this zombie gunk off us or off me probably. Oh, it's a 5:30. We <laughs> need to go for our trip here.
Ghost is done. In. Oof. Did you make food or do you need some? Uh, I could... I'm not bursting at the moment, but. Okay. Well, shall we go then? Yeah, uh, one sec. Okay. The truck is out front still. Take kit, bandages, problem there. Oh. Okay, how's this thing look? Should be in good shape still. It looks it's more it looks more beat up than it really is. Hood's pretty it's pretty beat up, it's no big deal. Battery and engine are all in good shape. Okay. Off we go. So, we are headed back to our original base. Keep going straight. Next left. So we're going like, oh, oh, this way. All the way over there. Okay, and then we're going to go to... I guess technically the right. Zombie Solemn. The newest Olympic sport.
Wait, I didn't even look. Did we empty everything out of the truck? Oh, Gimby's on mute. Never mind. Sorry, I didn't realize I was on mute. <laughs> I was telling you where to drive, and I was like, you're amazingly going the right direction, so... <laughs> so sorry about that. Mrs. Gippy was talking to me. I forgot I muted. Is the truck empty? I guess it is. Yeah, I, I was just about to say... Um, I remember we, we had to bring in some heavy stuff like the generator and what and the stove took up a lot of weight and that's why we left some stuff behind I think. So pieces aren't exactly light. Road's coming up. Right there. Just past it. Told you the little one. Okay, so we're going to follow this road. Basically, don't turn off of it for a little while. It's going to go straight for a little bit and it's going to curve to the left or turns to the right or sorry turns to the left and it'll be taking the I guess it's the first right you should just be able to see it on your mini map oh, don't let him get on the trailer Ah, oh, no free rides for the zombies Okay, that's what we want. And then here, just take it all the way, and uh, next time we come out to a split, you want to go right, and that'll take us right to the house. Dot cam time. Mr. Skimpy's out running errands, so she'll be back in a little while. But anyway, dogs sleeping. Go to the right. Might we take some of the zombies with us? Because uh, they're not paying, they're freeloaders. It's raining, so not my problem. Tell the joke. Okay, Let's see if we got any uh, stuff to harvest. Ready to harvest broccoli. Carrots. Oh. 
rotten cabbages, damn it. Potatoes, young broccoli. Young tomatoes. Bummer. Lots of buckets of water. Yep, lots of seeds in there. We want pancake mix? We're good without that. Eh, why not? <laughs> oh, our seed bag. Sugar. Tea bags? Sure, why not? Anyway. Oops. It happens. All right, I'm just going to grab the books that we need. Batch of carrots, unfortunately. Do we have more seeds? I think we have carrot seeds. I think. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Did you just eat that? Oh well. Okay, anything else important that we might want to throw in here? No, I want cigarettes because Greeks need cigarettes. Duct tape. Water can. Maple syrup, how do we not have that already? Oh, grab it. I did.
Should we not have a jack? Eh, I don't, we don't really run into that issue, have we? Garbage bags. Gonna need those. All the books in here is still too. Oh my god, there's so many books here. And all these are extras too. Yeah, but I'm looking through it now for the ones we're missing at the other place, so I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Okay. Got a lot of ammo and weapons in one of these crates too. Reduction is 50. Is that the... It can't be better than a school bag. No. mask. Do we need that? Yeah, the welder stuff we should probably move over. Okay. Oh, we should probably grab all those buckets, too. Just empty them in the the water collection. Too heavy? Too heavy. She could dump these uh, buckets on the water when they're sitting on the ground.
bad about leaving these plants here. <laughs> Oops. Well, we can come back. You need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. Anything else we need? Um, what was it take? I was looking for welding stuff. Oh, and I was taking uh, the blah, 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 the the buckets. Got to empty the buckets and grabbing those. I assume we have enough ammo at the other place. I would think so. I mean, we don't really use it that often, so. There's a faster way of doing this. Ah, oh, there, there is. We carry all of them. It's relatively quickly. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the ninth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2022 in San Diego is April 23rd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would we like to help with a donation, other stuff? please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yes, definitely need planks. Basically, tape of any kind, adhesive, the duct tape, it's all used for stuff. Uh, you have enough food at the other place? At the new place? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I've been grabbing, I'm still grabbing canned food, so if you see any vegetables or stuff laying around, you might as well pick them up because we can still cook those up. I think because there's plenty of space in the refrigerators, I think. Do we need metal sheets? Is that part of welding? I'm going to guess it is. Yeah, you can use it like to fix the truck and stuff later on. Okay, so I'll grab that stuff then. But probably not too important at this point. I picked it up anyway, because I do that. A box of jars. How important are jars right now? Yeah. Not, yeah, not too terribly much, but...
because we have energy. I don't know how much you actually need on this thing. I imagine the jars is mainly for like winter, but doing pickled stuff would be my guess. That makes sense. What many jars are in them? 1.8 pounds. Can't be that many jars. What you want to stand in here? Oh, back of the truck is full. Looks like we're full, full. Full, full, full. Oh, all right. Just to make sure the door is shut and off we go, I think. Mm, tomatoes, still not harvestable. Oh, we should probably bring back one of the, the generators, too. I'll grab one of them. Okay. Oh, is there food in the fridge? Should yeah, be. Yeah, there's still food in the fridge. Yeah, might as well grab some of it, I guess. Your rocket guarding the house. <laughs> oh, we got the gate, we got close the gate, too. No mail, stupid mailman. Or put delivering it to the wrong house. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. This road coming up. It's gonna be on our left. Oh, and is this the right one? It is. Okay, and then we'll make a left at the next uh, intersection.
Why did he just fall over? <laughs> was the was the car? I think it's hard. I was gonna say, was the car fighting back? I don't know. You said left, right? Yes. <laughs> left. Left is correct. Okay, and just keep going until we get to the main hi highway, and you'll be taking a right there. Stay on the main road until a long time. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. signal. Trying to find something on the radio. Hello, Heck. Gimpy. Uh -oh. It is time to take a break. Try. Go check on the dogs. Veronica's saying it's uh, break time. Your next break is in two hours. I'll wait till we get back. There's nothing on the radio. Very disappointing. It was funny as Veronica started talking, Rocket woke up too. That was the funny part. Like you heard her. I mean, of course, we know he didn't, but it's the funny coincidence. Wow, that was really good right there. He didn't hit one of those guys standing in the middle of the road like that. Uh oh. Five points for. For evading. Obvious to the troublemakers. Uh, oh. And then he just threw all the points down the tube just for that little turn. Turns come up in a little while, not too much longer. Wow. 
So close. Where all these guys come from? Okay, you're gonna want to go to the left when there's a throw on your left. There you go. And this is basically just uh, follow the road back, and the first right you can take is the one you want to take, and then the house will be the second right on the right, or it'll be on our right. So lots of rights. So right, right? Right. Sorry. Okay, make right here. Still gotta check out all these houses still, don't we? Yeah. Our home. Dump everything on the floor for now. Oh, duh, I'm carrying a generator. <laughs> so why am I so heavy? Yeah, I was just trying to empty the truck out, that's all. Okay, I'm going to be AFK for a second then. Okay. So I'm going to drop these and I'm going to take a quick break. Be back in a few minutes and continue on going through all the stuff we just brought home. Okay, so be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video. <laughs> 